Hey guys, Modern Gamers here. Hey guys, Modern Gamers here, and today we're going to be playing Mass Effect. This is one of actually my favourite games, favourite series ever. Probably, it, it actually is my favourite series ever. Played it back on Xbox when I was a uh, console player. Can you believe it? So yeah, now um, I'm going to be playing on PC, and this is going to be my new series. And this is actually going to be a series I'm actually going to stick with as well. Uh, because I've not been doing that lately and I feel that I do, do need to stick with one because like, just doing a bunch of different series is just like kind of getting a bit of a hassle because I didn't want to play some of the games as well so I finally found a game that I want to play so this video is basically just going to be the introduction of the game I'm going to do like the cutscenes not going to skip any of the cutscenes and I'm going to leave it for you guys to tell me what you want me to do uh, with the cutscenes so I'll just do my character and then I will uh, skip to after log in to let me just, uh, your profile. I'll just give you the basic information and when I'm creating I will uh, skip it through but yeah if you don't know what this game is this game is a third person shooter sci-fi RPG kind of expert game um, it's got a real in-depth story as uh, games that it's just three games in the series and games that you I mean decisions that you do Please will determine how the game ends control. and this is really where the idea for most games came from this takes the max though things you do in this game could affect the second game and even the third game as well so you might kill so you might get some one of your party members killed in this and then he won't be in the third one not killed as in killed with you I mean killed as in you make decisions and it's pretty good it's pretty good um, let's play for Earthborn or Hero. Um, so we can have a soldier, engineer, adept, infiltrator, sentinel, and vanguard. I think that I'm going to go for an adept or sentinel. I'm going to go for adept in this one. Facial identification. So yeah, I'm going to quickly go and do this and I'll start recording. So we have created our character. And one thing about this game it is important to create your character how you want to because you can actually keep this character throughout all three games as well. So let you know that. Let's carry on the story. Profile reconstruction complete. Thank you. Confirm. Identification confirmed. Um, subtitles. Yes. I'm pretty sure you guys want subtitles just in case. Yes, I do happen to be talking over one bit. I'll try and like not talk over any of the storyline talking. Well, what about Shepard? Earthborn, but no record of his family. Doesn't have one. He was raised on the streets, learned to look out for himself. He proved himself during the Blitz. Held off enemy forces on the ground until reinforcements arrived. He's the only reason the Lysium is still standing. We can't question his courage. Humanity needs a hero. And Shepard's the best we've got. I'll make the call. So really, this game does have one of the best stories ever. Uh, number two, probably my favorite of the three. Uh, I do like number three as well. I love, I love all three of them. Uh, if you played it before, you really know about this game and what this game is about. If you ain't, then I'd really suggest playing it or just watching this series through. I'm just gonna try and make the story the best and do what you guys want to see. So if you want to see me like this, you can do side missions as well. So if you want to do, see me do a bunch of side missions, just 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 tell me. And if you want me to just get through the main story, I forget every like side mission. Side missions are fun. You can kind of determine what they get happened in the game as well. And this game has a real strong uh, strong system of friendship, like. Uh, you really get close to people. All stations secure for transit. So yeah, it really makes you actually get close to people. So it's got a good way of making you actually feel close to them. So by the time we get to the third game, you really feel like you've been with some of these people for like forever. It really does feel good. Board is green. Approach run has begun. Hmm. Hitting the 
thrusters. Check. Navigation. Check. Internal emissions sync engaged. All systems online. Drift. Just under 1500k. Tell Kurt. is good. Your captain will be pleased. I hate that guy. Nihilus gave you a compliment. So you hate him. You remember to zip up your jumpsuit on the way out of the bathroom? That's good. I just jumped us halfway across the galaxy and hit a target the size of a pinhead. So that's incredible. Besides, specters are trouble. I don't like having them on board. Call me paranoid. You paranoid. So one thing I'm going to say is, uh, do you guys want me to be a... Uh, you have two different systems, like good and evil karma. Um, normally, like, I've played through this game so many times. I've played through each of them. I've played through at least each game, at least about five ten times uh, but normally I am good but let me know what you want me to uh, how, how you want me to play that as well so there's more going on here than the captain's letting up Joker status report just cleared the mass relay captain stealth systems engaged everything looks solid good find a comm buoy and link us into the network I want mission reports relayed back to Alliance Brass before we reach Eden Prime aye aye captain Better brace yourself, sir. I think Nihilus is headed your way. He's already here, Lieutenant. Tell Commander Shepard to meet me in the calm room for a debriefing. You get that, Commander? He sounds angry. Something must have gone wrong with the mission. <laughs> Captain always sounds like that when he's talking to me. Can't possibly imagine why. <laughs> oh. I really look proper like thing in here. It's not. It's not the recording guide. It is actually the game. It looks kind of. I don't know what. To, kind of oldish. It is an old game. It was out in like 2004 something. I, I don't even know. Those. I forgot the year it was out. But it was out quite a while back. Commander Shepard, I was hoping you'd get here first. It'll give us a chance to talk. Oh. What about? I'm interested in this world we're going to. Eden Prime. I've heard it's quite beautiful. They say it's a paradise. Yes, a paradise. Serene, tranquil, safe. Eden Prime has become something of a symbol for your people, hasn't it? Proof that humanity can not only establish colonies across the galaxy, but also protect them. But how safe is it, really? Do you know something? Your people are still newcomers, Shepard. The galaxy... Is the Alliance truly what? ready mean skip that, sir. I think it's about time we told the commander what's really going on. This mission is far more than a simple shakedown run. I figured there was something you weren't telling us. We're making a covert pickup on Eden Prime. That's why we needed the stealth systems operational. What's the payload, Captain? A research team on Eden Prime. Unearthed some kind of beacon during an excavation. It was Prothean. What else can you tell me? This is Big Shepard. The last time humanity made a discovery like this, it jumped our technology forward 200 years. But Eden Prime doesn't have the facilities to handle something like this. We need to bring the beacon back to the Citadel for proper study. Obviously, this goes beyond mere human interests, Commander. This discovery could affect every species in Council space. It never hurts to have a few extra hands on board. The beacon is not the only reason I'm here, Shepard. Nihilus wants to see you in action, Commander. He's here to evaluate you. What? Since when do we answer to the Spectres? You're smart enough to know how things work, Commander. The Alliance has been pushing for this for a long time. Humanity wants a larger role in shaping interstellar policy. We want more say with the Citadel Council. The Spectres represent the Council's power and authority. If they accept a human into their ranks, it shows how far the Alliance has come. You held off an enemy assault during the Blitz single-handed. You showed not only courage, but also incredible skill. That's why I put your name forward as a candidate for the Spectres. I assume this is good for the Alliance. Earth needs this, Shepard. We're counting on you. I know. I need to see your skills for myself, Commander. Eden Prime will be the first of several missions together. You'll be in charge of the ground team. Secure the beacon and get it onto the ship ASAP. Nihilus will accompany you to observe the mission. Just give the word, Captain. We should be getting close to Eden. Captain, we got a problem. What's wrong, Joker? Transmission from Eden Prime, sir. You better see this. Bring it up on screen.
Oh, Ashley. Oh, Ashley. You. Oh, oh crap, I forgot that mic. Status report. 17 minutes out, Captain. No other Alliance ships in the area. Take us in, Joker. Fast and quiet. Uh oh. This mission just got a lot more complicated. A small strike team can move quickly without drawing attention. Okay, give me my squad. It's our best chance to secure the beacon. Grab your gear and meet us in the cargo hold. Hey. Tell Alenko and Jenkins to suit up, Commander. You're going in. Hey, hey, hey. What squad have I got? Get in my own squad. Engaging stealth systems. Get in my own squad. Get in my own squad. Somebody was doing some serious digging here. Get in my own squad. Your team's the muscle in this operation, Commander. Go in heavy and head straight for the dig site. Okay. What about survivors, Captain? Helping survivors is a secondary objective. The beacon's your top priority. Approaching drop point one. Silence, you coming with us? I move faster on my own. Nihilus will scout out ahead. He'll feed you status reports throughout the mission. Otherwise, I want radio silence. Ready and able, sir. The mission's yours now, Shepard. Good luck! We are approaching drop point two. Okay, so guys, we're gonna leave it here and uh, we'll start actually playing the game in the next episode so I hope you enjoyed the video guys like for more make sure you g give it at least 10 likes at least that way I know that you want to see us carry on um, and see you next time guys peace